All right. Welcome back to the last episode of Battletech campaign. And we are here to face Lady Victoria Spinoza in a duel to the death. Cool thing is, we'll almost be in melee range. If this is a small arena. Incoming transmission. Victoria, I need you to listen to me. The director has fallen. Our armies have been routed. Routed. Even as I speak, restoration forces are closing in Gordy City. If you kill your cousin now, the entire reach will fall into anarchy. And if Camilla wins, the reach will be doomed anyway. You've been telling me that for years now. Was it all a lie, father? Yes, yes it was. Victoria, this is not the time for a debate. You will attend to my words and obey me as you always have. Order you to stand down for the good of the reach. No, no. The director is the reach, father, and I will never stop fighting for it. Following your cowardice, I will win this in spite of you. It's cut the line. Gonna have to put her into the ground, Lady Arano. She's far too gone for this to end any other way. If that's her choice, then so be it. I'll do whatever I must to save Lord Madeira. Call in on me, Megwarriors. We have one more wrong to right. Ask you. So, the battlefield seems circular, and that means we are ready to rumble. But uh, let's not rumble blindly. We will obviously start using the forest. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Because we expect to be fired upon very, very soon. Or maybe not. Okay. Turn number one passes. Nothing happened. Acknowledged. I'm moving. Engaging jump jets. We've got enemy company. contact. See how far we can get. There we go. Moving through the woods. Gathering some cool cover and evasion pips. You're long enough, Camilla. Was beginning to wonder if you'd turn your tail and run. Wouldn't have been the first time. If for you, Victoria, the justice of House Arana rides with me. How oh, poetic. I have no justice for you, Camilla. No flowery words. Only pain and death and humiliation. The floor materials you're all in. Let him go, Victoria, now. Quit wasting your breath. We're both waiting for this long enough. Come to me, cousin. Let's finish this. Follow me. I'm gonna say very predictable, but still effective, and it works. Is that a grasshopper? Is that exactly the mech we wanted to collect for ourselves? Good for us. It doesn't get in sight. That means we don't get shot. Got another hostile on Second mech. The 65 toner. And now it is our time to fire. So who will go in the front? Standing by. Wait, Camilla must go. survive. That means everyone else has to go first. So we'll reveal only one. I think that's a smart idea. And we will put everything on this mech. Let's see how you like this. A nice Jäger. It's time to start healing our head. Ooh. Unsteady on the first shot. That is an Come amazing closer, feat. Come closer. And that. And that. What is this thing? Uh, ah, it's a king crab. Okay. However, it has guarded, so we cannot really go for it. I'm gonna continue to go on the Jäger because it has. Waiting on you, Commander. It has taken uh, a lot of stability damage, and I believe Glitch should be capable of knocking him down. And after this, Bucky should be able Got it. Uh, to go center torso. So the knockdown is there. That's good. Also, the torso is very, very hurt. We may even get a kill before we get fired upon. Last mech moves. It's an awesome. Lich takes fire. A lot of fire. Wow. Good thing I didn't land on the rough terrain. I was worried about something okay, like this. That was bad. So good for us. We check here on the side. It's not a grasshopper. That makes me happy, actually. I was kind of worried. Now, we find a spot. There we go. Two points of cover and two points of evasion. Well, cover and two points of evasion. Makes more sense. 
and we go for center torso. This is a... That looks good. That looks very good. First mech down, and now it's a four versus three. If that Victoria cannot win this, I think. Hopefully. Tell me what you need. Uh, on the bad side, <laughs> yeah, Rano is very, very useful, useless at this point. So, who are am I going to go for next? There is uh, the awesome has some missiles. This thing has. What is it? Do we have breathing shot? Yes. This thing has a PPC and some random lasers, and then the king crab is only scary if it gets close. Okay, that's all I need to know. Let's uh, move over here and get two evasion pips and unload everything on the awesome. I mean, everything that we can. Also, I think this mech requires the water. So we will start moving towards the water soon enough. Good shots. Good missiles. Decent damage. Ah, we didn't get unsteady though. So that's a shame. Okay. Glitch keeps dodging like crazy. I'm I'm so impressed. So happy too. Now this unit goes to the water as well. No, it just moves forward. Okay. So glitch. Commander? You are doing amazingly well. That's why I'm gonna ask you to break line of sight with that guy. Or maybe I should go all in on that guy. Maybe not. So the awesome Got it. gonna get avoided for a little bit. Because I want to check if I can just one-shot this thing. Center torso. Wow, this is super possible. Absolutely. Commencing alpha strike. Glitch. Because you belong in a hall of fame where the most murderous mech warriors should be praised. That was amazing. So now it's two versus four. Don't think they will last that long. Um, let's stay away from from Victoria for a bit. Really, no. You know what? I'm going to reserve. That's a good idea. Force them to move to, to us. And watch. King Crab gets forward, gets close to us, shoots at Camilla, deals minimal damage, and now. <laughs> What Time the for the heart? retribution, Victoria. Break go for your legs. Break go center torso. Wow, the center torso has so much health. Everything has an infinite amount of health. Okay. Let's, let's, let's knock you down. This. I think this will handle you. Instant and steady. Amazing. Getting some evasion pips with Decker. Also, cool down at the water. Always cute. The awesome fires from the young side. It's. Whoa! Some very decent damage on Camilla. But not enough hit. for a knockdown. Which is great. Great for me. So, what do I want to do? I think I know what I want to do. That's Camilla. To vigilance, uh, makes sense. To vigilance first. We can even stand still. I don't care. We turn down this. No, actually, not stand still. We go to the water. That makes sense. We turn off the lasers that are incredibly expensive in heat. One on. Turn two on. Second one. Ah, this would be a full clear, okay. So we turn only one on, and this is as much damage as we can deal to this thing. 800 hits. Not in... Okay, so the center is taking a ton of damage. Great start. 
and we want to continue this with Becky. So close, so so close. Enter torso, go for it. Root up. Alright, center torso has been exposed and we all know, we all know who is capable of destroying them. Glitch, would you please do the honors? Firing everything I've got. Thank you very much. See you soon, Victoria Espinosa. All of this death, the coup, tradition, mastiff, all of it for nothing. It was always for nothing, Victoria. The directorate was never going to be the return to glory that your father promised. I know, cousin, I know. Our fathers lied to us. There's no future for the Reach. You are the hero of nothing, cousin. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, eh? Victoria. You left me no choice. But make no mistake. Justice has been served here today. I am the Sword of Restoration. Okay. Cormadir is free. Yay. So we only have this random mech that's still fighting for I don't know what. But uh, we will oblige and punish it. Abide. Start with the missiles. It's already so much uh, stability damage. I love this mech. Bucky. No. Kamiya. Standing by. Yes. Please come closer. See if we can fire everything this time. Nope. Absolutely not. The AC 100 hits. Everything hits. So much. Pretty nice. And we get the knockdown, which was important. Can Baggy get the final kill? That is a question that we'll answer right now. Ninety percent chance. The damage is enough for a kill. The ghost hits. The PPC does not. I think that makes it impossible to get a kill. So, oh no! Who in our roster is capable of murdering enemies? Good to go. Who will it be that jumps forward to obtain victory? And the answer, as always, will be glitch. Glitch sends her regards and finishes the campaign for us with a beautiful, beautiful Mission barrage. Destroyed. And the King Crab has Mission turned out to be a very serious assassin when piloted by Glitch. Let's enjoy the ending together. Wow, not even a cinematic. Hey, <laughs> that was pretty lackluster. Um, maybe, maybe after the debrief we get something that would make sense. What do I even grab? I don't know. Me the awesome, me the Yega. me this. Wow, what a what a mood cutter to have a debriefing with Savage. Could have easily programmed this not to happen. All right, we get an ending. Will we have a text ending? That would be sad. We got an achievement, a hero of forge. I began this restoration because my birthright was stolen, and I wanted it back. Not for the people of the Reach, but because it was mine. What? what? I wanted war, 
for all the wrong reasons. Okay. Her growth. But on Weldry, I traded that naivete for nobler purpose. Seeing my people suffering with my own eyes taught me why I must fight. On Artru, I found humility. Blinded by righteousness, I was reckless in my pursuit of power. And it almost cost us the war. On Galdra, I learned to steal my heart. I chose necessity over conscience. A choice that nearly broke me. Finally, on Koromadir, the world of my birth, I found resolve. And standing over my cousin's broken body, victory. Only through these lessons, paid for in blood, did I become a ruler worthy of title. A high lady prepared to sit the Cormorant throne, the protector of Koromadir, the sword of restoration. But this question still plagues me. Am I a hero? Did I sacrifice too much at the altar of victory? Do my triumphs outweigh my mistakes? War is a clash between conscience and necessity. An ocean of chaos and bloody compromise. War shapes history. And history chooses its heroes. As for you, mercenary, you made the liberation of the Oregon Reach a reality. Every trial I faced would have been my last without your skill on the battlefield. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause or just my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. And you know what? It doesn't matter if you believe it. Because others do. As I believed in the heroes of my father's stories. After all, when we are gone, Stories are what remain. I feel like we've seen this maybe in the opening cinematic. I guess it's a nice way to put a closure on it. I do hate one thing. How could she not call me commander? Only one job. Narrative guys, come on. How could you have failed me like this? You called me commander throughout the entire game. And now I'm a lowly mercenary. Feel insulted, but actually no. We feel fine. The game is over. We've finished the campaign. We've only sustained one loss at the hands of Aaron Jesus, with a one percent chance melee hit out of a mech that was downed and half destroyed. We'll remember Behemoth for her close range, close range prowess, and. Uh, will forever remember Glitch for her assassination skills. We're very happy that this has come to a close. We enjoy the final looks at this credit screen with pictures of people celebrating. I'm guessing these are the devs having finished the game. I'll let the credits roll. And when this is over, uh, we will cut the stream. Uh, thank you all for joining me on this fantastic and entertaining trip. See you next time. Commander out.
that mech you wanted is back online. I've got the financial report. Alright, and with this the campaign has closed, come to a close. We are not going to continue an open, open-ended game. I believe we are very satisfied with the result. And this will be it. See you next time on the next game.